Hey guys, it's Steve here with The Wired Flyer, where we break down complex aviation topics in the simplest way possible. In today's video, we're going to be comparing the angle of attack to the angle of incidence, which are often confused with one another, and there are similarities, but there is a large difference. Let's dive in. Now, both the angle of attack and angle of incidence use the wing roots cord line as a reference point. That is the similarity, but they are referencing different things. First, let's look into the angle of incidence. So we're gonna draw some imaginary lines on some airplanes here. Both are gonna reference the same wing root cord line, which is this top line right here, which follows that angle that the wing is in. Now with the angle of incidence, it compares that imaginary line to the longitudinal axis of the airplane and the longitudinal axis of the airplane is the imaginary line from the nose of the airplane to the tail so in yellow there that is the angle of incidence and it is fixed so no matter what you're doing with the airplane it's always going to be the same because it's just built into the design of the aircraft so essentially you could say that the angle of incidence is the angle between the wing and the body so it controls the natural tendency of an airplane to pitch up or down and having a higher angle of incidence can help generate more lift at lower speeds now the angle of attack is still comparing the same cord line of the wing but instead of relating it to the longitudinal axis it's the angle between the wing cord line and the relative airflow that you are flying through so as you increase your pitch your wing cord line is increasing in comparison to the relative airflow that it's flying through which is then going to obviously increase the amount of lift generated by the airplane and although the angle of attack is increasing the angle of incidence is still staying the exact same because it's fixed to the airplane itself the angle of attack is not only controlled by the pitch that you're doing it can also change by the relative airflow coming in in the sense of a strong gust or wind that will change the relative airflow that is hitting the wing surface so anyways that's it for this one hopefully that clears up any confusion you may have had and hey if you like the video hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more aviation related content until next time stay learning keep motivated and chase your dreams let's go Woo!